to the channel. You've probably seen I changed the name. I'll always be the CEO of Testosterone at Heart, but we're in a new era now. We've changed to Jack Hopkins. That's my actual name, so nice to meet you. My name's Jack, I'm no longer CEO of Testosterone. Anyway, today's video, gonna be meeting up with our boys from the New Elite, my private network, and we're gonna be doing our Bangkok Fight Club. Every week, we have to fight. That is one of the rules of the New Elite. It's what makes us a bit different to any other network is the fact that every man must fight. It's an essential part of being a man. So. Before we head down there, I'd like to take my Kingmaker supplement for testosterone optimization from my good friend Robert Oliver, Absolute G, check him out on IG, and also Alpha Grind Coffee. The boys will probably come around in a sec because we're getting a taxi together over to our secret location to do the fight club. Today I'm going to go in there, I'm going to try and do a round with everyone, hopefully back to back, get some real good rounds in with the lads. We've got some new members joining us there probably get some food with the lads after. So we'll take you along for the ride. Just show you what it's like to be inside the network in Bangkok and, and what it's like to be a part of the fight club as well. I'll wait for the lads to get here. I'll see you boys in a sec. Whoop! Yeah, let's see. It looks like we've got about 12 people coming through. Sick. It's gonna be busy. You trained yesterday, right? Uh, yes, just with the girls. Just some fun with the girls. A little bit of shadow. <laughs> Yeah, that's nothing takes out of your luck sparring. Alright, drivers arrive, let's hit it. So many different zones like uh like London's loads of different zones. This just seems to be all based off one centre line. Yeah. So well, just a city on one centre line. The neighbourhood seems to be different. Like London, like you have rows and rows of the same houses. Here, like no two buildings in the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I remember when we had that one drive here, we had a we had a fantastic grab as a girl that wanted a was looking for a partner. Really? Yeah. She was asking us if we wanted to go and, go and see her. Really? She like young man, she's got a boyfriend who's old, but she likes young men. Really? <laughs> yeah. Give us a card actually if we guess we've got it. I've been seeing her actually. <laughs> Marrying a Christmas. Yeah, Bill asked me for the for the card afterwards. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. The more old ladies for me. The retirement yeah. home was like, you know, knowing Jack's name and everything. We've been them all up and yeah. so the end of It's absolutely necessary, in my opinion, that every man fights, learns how to fight and feels the adrenaline of combat. It's also one of the best ways I've found to bond with brothers, to between each other. Once you've punched someone in the face, you have a level of mutual respect and it allows us to feel out, is somebody worth our time? If they're willing to, to throw hands and they're willing to risk things and, and confront fear, then that's someone you can hang around with. If you've got someone that won't do that, big red flag for me. So. That's the purpose of Fight Club, and everyone seems to fucking absolutely love it and just really enjoy it and get a lot out of it. The new elite has fight clubs all over the world. The whole group is encouraged. Got memberships in 15 countries, big memberships in the US, UK, Australia, parts of Europe, and obviously a big membership group in Thailand. So all around the world, we've got guys meeting up to fight each other. And that's just a very small part of the new elite, but a necessity for everybody to do. We'll see if we got Dario and Landry because they went out last night. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They've been um, Andrew and Jack Dixon. Um, there was basically all of us went to Ibiza together. And um, Dario, Andrew and Jack Dixon are a, are a dangerous trio. <laughs> and uh, Dixon and Andrew moved in the same building. And then I think Dario went out of them last night. So we'll see if they come through. He's Good night out. Loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, partial the statement. We just met with the lads at our undisclosed location. We're waiting for everybody to uh, to turn up, and then we're going to get some sparring started. It's good to have all the guys together again, meeting each other. We've got new members coming in, just hanging out now. It's the fucking best way you can to to bond with your brothers is getting sparring together. So we're up in the most perfect location, 47th floor of a building with a fucking ring in it. 
So I can't wait to get this started. Literally my favourite thing to do. Yeah. See you in the ring. Try to hold them, see them, I ain't no time for 4 p.m. I'm saying I put it up. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 Trey. I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 rats in my safe. 500 rats to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up? Ain't been the truck. Make these bitches fall in love. All of my niggas on go. None of my niggas no ho. All of my niggas won't smoke. All of my niggas together. We came from the bottom. We used to wear each other. None of my niggas gon' fold. Couple pussy niggas told. They ain't my niggas no more. Hold it down for the fold. In the nine with the wolves. All of my daughters for sure. We won't fall out about shit. Especially not about no bitch. We ain't gon' fall out by hoes. Man said get them lows. We let them go for the. So everyone on this side, stay. I got my lips. Everyone on this side, move it I been getting faded, I'm sipping on maple. If she won't fuck, I won't make her. I don't like bitches with makeup. If she want titties, I pay for her. Get out of there when I wake up. I pass the bar, I don't lay her. I'm a big boss, I got sex up. They'll wipe you down if I say so. Great round. Not bad at all. Really not bad at all. We just finished about 12 rounds of sparring, three minute rounds. I went with everyone who turned up today from the new elite and didn't do a single soft round. We had bloodshed in the ring, guys getting to know each other, and now it's time to relax, tell stories, start businesses, print money, go down to the restaurants, meet some girls. It's just how it is. So, yeah, we'll finish up here, go get some steak with the lads, and uh, finish up the day. But it's been a fucking good one. Whoop -a! Look at this icy goodness. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, nice recovery session now. Great sparring with the boys. New Elite lads always come through, had a great meal after. But a uh, beautiful thing about the New Elite is that when you have guys around you that are pushing themselves hard, you can't not push yourself hard. When you've got guys in there sparring every day, then going home working on their businesses, how can you not be that guy? Get brought up by the pack, and our pack doesn't fucking lose. Our pack hangs out with each other, brings everybody up, no one slacks, no one goes out, just fucking kill it every single day. So we're all around the world. We've got 240 members around the world. If you're thinking of joining, DM me Elite on Instagram. We have a link under this video, but it gets absolutely rammed from the YouTube. I like to vet each member personally, myself, through text, through messages maybe even a small call to see if you're right for the group. So if you're interested, go and send me the message elite in my Instagram and we'll see if you're ready. 5K membership, 5K USD. Don't message me if you're gonna mess around on prices. We don't muck around with that. But yeah, boys, it's been a fucking amazing video. Good to see the lads get back to recovering and I'll see you on the next one. Whoop out!